Welcome to the Quarantine Bake Off Challenge. This week's episode includes two fabulous ladies with the challenge of sage and orange all in one cupcake. Can they tie the ingredients for a fabulous little treat? Or will they mess it up and lose out on the money of nothing? You know, I'm not really as much of a baker. Cooking is more my thing. I love unique flavors and mixes. Um, grew up in a family where food was very important. I remember one of the first recipes that really impressed me is my dad's meatballs that have grape jelly in it. And so it has this really tangy flavor. And so fun flavors is something we grew up with. Um, and excited to be working together with Miss Savannah and baking beautiful things. So the reason I got into baking was actually uh, when I was 11 years old, my mom was working part time and it was summertime and I was looking for something fun to do and so I decided I was gonna make co uh, cookies. I you know, put everything together, I made my first baking uh, experiment all by myself when I was at home and I made chocolate chip cookies. My mom came home and she goes, you made cookies? And here's the thing, I made 11 dozen cookies so I can understand now as an adult why she was concerned about that. And she goes, did you at least cream the butter and sugar together? And I was like, I don't know, what's creaming? The cookies turned out really good. And ever since then, I've just had a love of making baked goods. And it probably comes from the fact that I love sweet things. Um, so I'm just really excited to be here today with Shalina and we're gonna do some really cool stuff. All right, so wh where do we start? I think we should start with our cupcake um, batter because that's definitely going to be the thing that, that has to take the longest. We're going to need to cool it down and you know make sure that they're really settled before we put anything else in them or on them. Perfect. All right. So, so um, um, let's start with gathering our dry ingredients. Okay. All right. It looks like it's going to take about an uh, orange per tablespoon. So I think it'll be three oranges that will be needed for this. Um, well, with today's challenge being sage, incorporating sage into our um, cupcake dessert, we've been thinking about um, what flavors go really well with sage, and so our idea is to combine sage and orange, because orange is a nice citrus flavor, sage is kind of earthy, and those are uh, not so much of a unique pairing. You can find recipes for that online, but I think um, our twist on that is we're going to be adding chocolate to that, and I think that's going to be a really nice flavor combination, something totally unique, and maybe when we're done, we can share the recipe. I love it! <laughs> so it's gonna be really exciting. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be using sage that is gonna need something really to sweeten it up to make that connect. So we're gonna use a chocolate. We're gonna do a chocolate orange cupcake, and we're gonna have a ganache center. And we're gonna infuse that ganache with uh, a sage syrup. Um, and then on top of this, we're going to do a orange buttercream sage frosting, and then we're going to do a, a candied orange on top for just decoration. So really thinking it's going to make a balanced cupcake that's going to be really unique and just light your uh, mouth up as you take a bite of it. All right, so we're gonna just take this, we're gonna put it in the butter and then like let it set and then we're gonna strain it out before we make the frosting. talked about earlier today's challenge was to incorporate sage in a surprising way into our cupcake and so today we have for you a chocolate orange cupcake with a chocolate ganache sage center 
Um, and then the top you're gonna find a browned butter and sage buttercream frosting with just a hint of orange. Um, we're looking to balance all those flavors together so that you have a, a complete um, earthy balance. Well ladies, I'm really excited to be uh, trying this cupcake that you all have been spending the last uh, few hours in the kitchen uh, trying. So as the ladies were saying, we have a lovely cupcake here. The design is elegant, it is formed well, the proportions appear to be quite excellent. Um, slightly lopsided, but in a perfect way that uh, shows that it's not the imperfections in perfection. As we cut in, we can see that it is quite moist, it looks nice inside. We see hints of the ganache in there, so, so far those pieces are coming together nicely. I feel the balancing of the flavors worked out very well in this. I can taste the sage and the orange and they just, they worked beautiful women. They're just, they're just I'm delightful. Mm, excellent. It is indeed moist and it's got a nice um, crisp crust on top so that you get a little different textures along the way. We'll dig in a bit more for the ganache so we can get a flavor of that as well. You can taste the sage, but it's not too overpowering, which is excellent. All in all, I would give this a very excellent cupcake, one of the better ones that I have had. <coughs> you ladies did excellent. Now, I believe in the middle there was supposed to be a little ganache, and I didn't find any of that, which I'm a little disappointed. Oh, wait, hold on. Here is some, oh, I got a little ganache. So I'm gonna try another bite here with everything together, and we'll see how things go. Mmm. Yeah, again, the flavors here, they just, they blend perfectly together. It's very well balanced. I would I give it a solid 9 out of 10. And in fact, I'm going to vote to keep you all on. Today, we had a lot of fun in the kitchen. Um, certain things stood out, definitely. The sage, I mean, so intense, so big. Orange, an indispensable flavor. We think about those, that seems like what this cupcake is made out of. But really, there's a lot more in a cupcake than just the big flavors. You couldn't make a cupcake without flour, or salt, or eggs. And when we look at that, we think about the body of believers. And sometimes we think that only the people that are big and up front are the important people. And they're what makes everything come together. But really, God put us in a community so that we could support each other and create a balance that it's going to just lift up and exhort this group. In 1 Corinthians 12, um, the Bible talks about that there are many kinds of gifts, but the same spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. And that as God is working together in us, uh, we can see how he's making us. So that we should not say to one, you're not important. Without baking soda and baking powder, this would be an incomplete mixture. So, what is your part in the family? Are you one of the believers that maybe you feel like, my part is insignificant? Don't fear, God has a place for you. God has a special spot for you in this experience. Maybe you're something bold and crazy and you're like, I am, how could God ever use me in my church or in my family? Maybe you're sage and you feel like you only belong um, out there, you know what? God has got a clever way to work you into a group of believers and use your talents and highlight those in a new way. He has a special mission for you. First Corinthians 12, 27 says, now you are the body of Christ and each one of you is a part of it. Are you ready to play your part in the body of Christ today? <laughs>